I have had uh, th over 300 days in space. My first mission was two weeks long on the space shuttle. It's pretty awesome. And then I flew twice with the Russians. And my last mission was six months long. So I'm going to show you a video that lasts for six minutes. So we're all going to go to space and we're going to go for six months in six minutes. And so it takes us only eight and a half minutes to get from Earth to space where we are in microgravity. So we are traveling at 17,500 miles an hour. Yeah, it's pretty fast. And then we dock with the International Space Station after a few hours. And then we open up the hatch into our new home, the Space Station, which is a pretty big laboratory. It's where we work. It's where we live. But why are we going to space? It's not just to have fun, but we are going up there to conduct science. That's the number one reason why we are going to the space station. Because of that unique environment, we can do experiments like with fire that we're not able to do on Earth. Yeah, floating is cool. You, you never get tired of that. Here he's trying to separate air from water. One of my experiments was growing lettuce plants. If we're gonna go to the moon and off to Mars, we're gonna have to be able to grow our own food. We're not gonna be able to send it all up. So we were practicing with that. And then we worked with universities. I, I met with your robotics lab earlier uh, and they were working on projects like this where you program these spheres to go around the space station. We worked with other universities to build these payloads that we take out the Japanese airlock and then we shoot them back to Earth and they collect data as they return back to Earth. So it's pretty cool. So science, education. We're also still learning a lot about the human body. Even though we've been going to space for over 50 years, there's still a lot to learn. So we take blood sample, urinalysis samples, we store them in this minus 80 degree freezer. And then when we come home, we can take that back to the scientists and then do their analysis. So we do have to work out a lot in space. We spend about two hours every day. This is a resist resistive exercise device. It feels like you are lifting weights in space. And we have to do this so that our muscle mass stays strong while we're floating around. So we spend an hour doing that. We spend the other hour doing cardiovascular, either on a treadmill. This treadmill is actually on the wall. It's not on the floor. But it doesn't matter if you're on the wall. So you can be on the floor, you can be on the wall, on the ceiling, it all feels the same. So how do we get all of our supplies? We have these cargo vehicles that will come up and there are various private companies that are doing that for us, leaving from the East Coast of the United States. And once they get to orbit, we have to capture it with the robotic arm. And then once we capture it, we then attach it to the space station. Then we can go in and we can take out all of our supplies. When they show up, they might bring us fresh fruit. Every now and then they'll give us ice cream. And so they're kind of nice, but you can see these big bags, it's super easy. If we were in space right now, I could take that bag and just float it out to all of you up there and it'd be super easy. And if you're lucky enough, you get to go out and do a spacewalk. We don't do them just for fun. Anytime we go out is to do some type of repair on the International Space Station. I've been lucky enough to do uh, three of these. And yes, it's a little bit scary. Uh, but we have this really big swimming pool in Houston. And that is where we train. And then once you go out the door in your spacesuit, you go back to your training. Here are some of my uh, colleagues working on the robotic arm. And then I had the opportunity to get on the end of the arm while somebody was flying me around. And it's a pretty crazy feeling when you're not hanging on to anything and you're out there in the middle of space. And after about six or seven hours, you come back in and then you're hungry and it's time to eat. 
So here's just maybe a minute or so showing you the beauty of Earth from space. Our planet is pretty cool. And then after six months, you hand over the key to the space station to the other crew. Then you get back into your very uncomfortable Soyuz spacecraft. You undock from the space station and within an hour or so, you are back on Earth, which is kind of weird. You go from floating in space to going through the atmosphere. That's what's happening there. If you didn't know that was supposed to happen, you'd be very, very frightened but that is good. Then your parachute opens and you land out in the middle of nowhere in Kazakhstan. The Russians have a great recovery team and it doesn't matter the weather. You can see this was the middle of winter and they are there to uh, greet us. They treat us like kings. They put us in a chair. They carry us around. It's actually quite nice. 